Good morning, Tubies. It's Psychic Bob. Well, I'm here. I just had my shower. My hair is wet and I'm combing it. You know, I never blow dry my hair. I just comb it dry. It's light and it airs out pretty quickly. So anyways, that's what I'm doing. And I'm excited about spending some time with you guys today. So welcome to Spirit Channel. Oh, I tell you, I've been so excited this morning. I've been breaking in my new jewelry polishing cloth. Um, this is a jewelry polishing. This is kind of dirty now because I've been cleaning a lot of jewelry. <laughs> but this is really cool. If you have never used one of these, I really recommend if you wear a lot of jewelry, particularly silver because silver tarnishes a lot. But the inner cloth is like white uh, on this one. They're different colors, but they usually have an inner cloth and an outer cloth. It's all seamed together as one piece. But you basically polish the jewelry with the inner cloth you rub it down and clean it like you can see I've been doing my chain on this one so rubbing it down in my pentacle here and then after you finish cleaning it you buff it with the outer cloth and these cloths are permeated with a silver or jewelry cleaning chemical and it really shines it up nice my pentacle is quite tarnished um, recently I dipped it actually in Tarnex silver cleaner it kind of damaged the surface of my pinnacle and I thought, oh my God, what did I do? My mom told me, she said, why don't you get a jewelry cloth? And I did, and I buffed back the surface. As you can see, it's quite shiny now. But after I put it in the Tarnex, I think I left a little too long. It dulled the surface. It looked like it was like rusted almost. And I thought I'd ruined it, but with the jewelry polishing cloth, it's brought it back. And as you can see, my chain is here shining. So anyways, you know, I, I love to clean my jewelry. It's one of my hobbies, taking care of all my jewelry. But um, speaking of pentacles and all things Wiccan, if you didn't see yesterday's video, you got to check that out. So it's in the queue right before this one. We talked about the 13 powers of the witch. So you want to see that. Anyways, so I'm getting my jewelry all shined up here. Look out, girl. When I was 14, I was falling fast for a blue-eyed girl in my homeroom class. Trying to find the courage to ask her out was like trying to get water from an oil spout. What she would have said, I can't say. I never did ask and she moved away. But I learned something from my blue-eyed girl. Sink or swim, you gotta give it a whirl. Life's a dance, you learn as you go. Sometimes you lead, sometimes you follow. Don't worry about what you don't know. Life's a dance you learn as you go. <laughs> All right, guys. You know, say Bob. Like, you know, I still think I'm going to be on American Idol or something. But I'm having a lot of fun today. And I'm just getting ready to go out and have some lunch. And I thought you guys would like to come along. I've been doing readings this morning. And it's a little about a little after 2 o'clock now. Now I'm heading out and having some lunch. So come on along. Maybe we'll sing on the way. All right, say goodbye, ready to go on the town. Now, you know we got to have a little fashion check before we go. Okay, I got on my cool hat and shades. Check. Black shirt. You know I love wearing black. My favorite color. Check. Ooh, got on my mystical pentacle pendant. Yeah, check that out. Yeah, check. Black jeans. De rigueur. Black loafers. Check. Oh, and we got Christian Dior today. So there we go. Say goodbye. Be styling and profiling. Walk like an Egyptian. All right. Well, we're going to go and have some fun today. So come on along. Well, Tubies, I'm out on the street. The air feels tropical today. And our sun lord is hidden behind a lot of clouds. But he's up there trying to peer down on us. Let's see if we can say hail to the sun lord. Hail. I tell you, we got a great day to be out and about. So we're going to walk along and see what there is to see. Come on along. Oh, I tell you, the air feels so good today. You know, I checked the weather forecast and it said there was not going to be any rain, even though it's really overcast. But they said no rain, so I did not bring my umbrella. Let's hope Say Goodbye don't get caught in a storm. You know how that goes. According to my local weather, there's not going to be any rain until tomorrow afternoon. So I'm going to trust them and take a chance. You know, even though I'm a psychic, I just don't do weather predictions. That's just not one of my things. <laughs> I let the meteorologist handle that. They know more than I do. 
But I can talk to the spirit world. Now that I can do. Well, Tubies, here I am. I'm crossing the footbridge. It is beautiful today. Everything's tranquil and calm. I swear I still think it looks like a storm no matter what they're saying. But you know, we're going to just cruise on along and hope for the best. Hey, and if we get caught in the rain, hey, all you're going to do is get wet. Ain't the end of the world, right? <laughs> now, as I'm walking through the park here, I'm enjoying the last vestiges of greenery because soon all of these leaves will be changing and it's going to be autumn colors. Summer's having its last fling before the cool weather comes. Here's a beautiful oak. I think it's spectacular. You know, when we go to see trees, we should be reverent towards them. So we'll say, great tree, thank you for your blessing. We honor you this day. And by honoring the trees, we honor life. Look at this little bug on the tree. I think it's a bug. Is that a bug? Look at that. What an interesting little creature. It's like a blue colored moth. How precious. Well, we won't disturb him. Let him rest. You see, but what a treat to see a tiny little blue moth. That's pretty cool. Life's a dance, you learn as you go. Sometimes you lead, sometimes you follow. Don't worry about what you don't know. Life's a dance, you learn as you go. <laughs> I can't get that song out of my head. <laughs> oh my gosh, here's Pier One. Oh, we might have to go in there later. I don't know. Sin and temptation. I'm trying to be a minimalist. But I still want to shop. But I really don't need to shop. So maybe we won't go there. I need to be a minimalist with food. Then I'll be all tough and be able to go on American Idol. <laughs> well, Tubies, here I am at La Casa. I'm safely ensconced in my luxurious booth. And I'm looking at our menu with a lot of good food. And I, I'm kind of in a pasta mood today. I don't know what I'm going to get. I might get, they do really good ravioli here, which is really good. Lasagna's good. Everything's good. I'm mean, honest to God, you know. Baked ziti's good. I like it all. I don't know. We'll find something to eat. Well, now it's me time. And I'm unwinding after doing a morning of readings. And, and I got a really cool new book that I got to show you guys. Oh, my God. I'm really getting into this book. I just got it, but I'm totally into it. It's called Witchfire. And there's the, the main character. And there's a girl here. Um, what's her name? Um, I forget her name. I can't see the thing here. Anyways, the main character, <laughs> whose name I should know, is I blank it out. She's a witch, but she doesn't know she's a witch. She's like actually a Wiccan, but she discovers she has real witch powers. And an evil uh, coven of warlocks is out to, to, to capture her, to steal her powers and kill her. It's a really exciting book. And uh, there's another guy named Jack who comes and saves her. And I just love this. I found it's part of a, a series of four books about elemental witches and so like each witch in the story has their own power she's an air witch so she works with the power of air and this is really cool it's it's a light easy fun read so if you're looking for something just to relax with it's not highbrow intellectual this is a good book even though it's not highbrow intellectual it's still very good well written fast moving and entertaining witch fire it's written by anya bast a-n-y-a-b-a-s-t so check it out i'm loving it Quick, take a look. Say Bob's eating healthy. Look, I'm eating a salad, crisp and green. Mmm, I love it. Mmm. Ooh, my lunch came. Look what I got. Ooh, I got baked ziti. Oh, this is a wonderful Italian pasta dish here. Mozzarella cheese and bolognese sauce, I guess you call it. And got some bread. They make fresh bread here. It's so good. Oh. Second like Bob is living like a king. <laughs> there is nothing quite as luxurious as curl up with good food, a cozy booth. Look at this nice leather booth I'm in. And a wonderful book. I'm working on Witch Fire. Oh, it's so good. 
I'm really enjoying the afternoon. Ah, uh, Tuies, that was a great lunch. I just finished up, had a great time. They made me a free iced tea to go, which is really sweet. So I'm gonna cruise on along here. You know, I'm really tempted to go into Pier 1, but because I'm really trying to stick to being a minimalist, I'm really trying to limit what I bring into my house. And right now I don't need to bring anything else in. So <clears throat> anyways, we're just gonna be disciplined and go on by. <laughs> I tell you, there's our sun lord up there just trying to come through, but I don't think he's going to burn through the clouds today. It's awful dense. But you know, with the um, hurricane down south, <clears throat> down in the Carolinas, I think what we're getting is already the beginning of the tropical air and the, the you know weather that's coming from that. Because it's definitely looking like a whole area, you know, like under clouds, and, and the air is... The air is very gentle and tropical now, so. Oh, and Tubies, look what they have here. I'm outside of Harris Teeter, and they're selling mums, which is actually the short version for chrysanthemums. And look at here, some beautiful chrysanthemums. Now in Japan, these are the royal flower. The emperor of Japan has the chrysanthemum as his sacred flower and symbol. So, that's kind of cool. You know, I believe I've had past lives in Japan and I've always been drawn to Japanese things and chrysanthemums are a flower that I remember the first time I ever saw one, I was like obsessed. I was like, what is that flower? My mom was like, this is chrysanthemum. I was like, I know that flower. Mom's like, we don't grow chrysanthemums at our house. I said, I don't know. Somehow I just knew. And every time I see them, I still have that sense of deep interconnection. Well, I'm tempted to buy chrysanthemums, but I don't know if they grow indoors. I, those look like they're meant to be kind of outdoor plants, and I don't have a balcony where I live, so I'm not going to buy them right now. I need to research it because if chrysanthemums can grow inside, I'm definitely going to explore that. Oh, look, we're right by Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, sin and temptation. No, I'm being good. You know, I've been really working on eating healthier and lighter, and it makes you feel really good. I've lost a little bit of weight. Some of you said in my videos I look a little thinner, which I actually am. Anyways, let's go along here. We're right outside Exxon gas station. Let's check on our gas prices today. All right, Exxon's saying regular gas is 267 plus is 347, Supreme is 363. I don't know about you guys, but it just seems like too much, you know? I'm still back in the days when gas was 89 cents a gallon. I know some of you know what I'm talking about. I remember when gas went to a dollar a gallon, and I thought, oh my God, we all thought that was like the end of the world. Now it's almost three dollars, and then Supreme, 363 a gallon. That is just, that's almost crazy, guys. I don't, I don't know. I, well, you know, I don't own a car, but I feel bad for people who have to be stuck with that because they have no other options. You know, I really feel for you guys. So, anyways, the oil industry is what it is. You know, as I'm looking into the lush greenery, I'm looking for the face of the green man. You know, we still have a lush, a lot of lush greenery here, but it'll soon all be changing and turning orange and gold and pink and bright red. It'll be beautiful. And we're going to film all that. Let's see if we can spy the green man. Maybe he's in there somewhere. Green man, we're calling to you. Come and show your presence to us and bless us all. So mote it be. Well guys, I am so glad we got to spend a few minutes together today and I hope that wherever you are, you're having a wonderful and a blessed day and a wonderful time. Anyways, I'm going to wrap this up because i got to get home. They say no rain's coming, but I tell you, it feels like it. But I'm glad you came along on the adventure. And Listen, help me out, please, will you? Like this video, favorite it, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe. Be part of our channel. We'd love you to be here. Oh, by the way, if you didn't see yesterday's video, Wiccan Wednesday, we talked about the 13 magical powers of the witch 
If you didn't see that, go see that. It's in the queue right before this one. I also showed my newest artwork, which is available at my website for free download. So check that out. Go to PsychicBob.com. And while you're there, if you want to get on my schedule for a private reading, I am available. Give me a call, 703-825-3929. I'll have, excuse me, those links below. Or write to me in my official email, PsychicBobHickman at gmail.com. You guys are the best. Thank you for being here. I love you. Mm. Sending blessings to you. And we'll see you back here tomorrow on Friday for Free For All Friday. <laughs> Well, have some fun. Just be here. Love you guys. Thanks so much. Blessed be. Well, Tubies, like I said, fall is upon us. Look at this. One red leaf. It's the first leaf I've seen, this brilliant red. Is that beautiful or what? One beautiful red leaf. Well, there you go. Well, we're going to be seeing more of that in the coming months, so... Just keep it here, and we'll be sharing that with you. Thanks for coming along again, guys. I love you. We'll see you back here tomorrow. And until then, may all of you always blessed be. Life's a dance. You learn as you go. Sometimes you lead. Sometimes you follow. Don't worry about what you don't know. Life's a dance. You learn as you go home.